YouTube's design has changed a lot over the years, but unfortunately it's lost some functionality along the way. I'm going to show you how to get some of that functionality back and provide some extra functions. We're also going to change the design slightly in order to provide a better viewing experience. And also we're going to do all of this with just one quick tip that you can apply to all the websites that you view. Let's get started. <laughs> Usescripts.org is an excellent resource for grabbing little pieces of code that you can put into your browser to make your web experience a lot better. And this one is no different. This is YouTube Center and it's very simple to install. For Google Chrome, you can grab Tampa Monkey and then click that install button to install it. However, you can also grab this via various add-ons. So Firefox, grab some add-ons, your Chrome add-on, Opera, Safari, Internet Explorer, and Maxthon. So once you grab this, you can go over to YouTube and you'll find it looks a little bit like this. So what we have is, for example, animated uh, YouTube thumbnails here. We have the likes and dislikes. We have the quality of the video on the top left and the ratio of likes to dislikes at the bottom here. Uh, for some reason, I'm supposed to subscribe to this guy who I can't read. Anyway, let's go into a video and what happens when you load this video, well for me anyway, is it skips straight to the video player, makes it a lot wider. You also see in this area, it's a lot wider, makes the most of the screen. And my video player is a nice little white theme here. If I scroll down, and again on the right hand side, if I drag over this, this will show me the uh, quality of the video. And also I have these download links, aspect links, and a flag when people comment on my videos. So it's pretty nice to have, and it's some extra functionality. It's only slightly changing YouTube, and it's constantly getting updated from that YouTube center page. As you can see, the last one was just four days ago as of this video. So to change the settings, go to the top right hand side and you'll be provided with a lot of different settings here. Just to go to some ones of note, make sure that the layout, you have all of these ticked. That allows you to have the best use of the space that you have on the page. In the player, you can change to HTML5. So if you're not a fan of Flash, you can force it to go to there. You've got the theming options here. If you go to download and then MP3 services, I know some of you are cheeky and grab all your music from YouTube. So you can grab all these MP3 services here and do that route. And we have the general, we have placement. We can have the lights off thing, you know, when you make it like a theater view. Here's that video thumbnail. I've reduced the delay and interval so the thumbnails are sped up a little bit, but you can then change all those things like the rating count. You can have it to be always, only when your mouse is over it or only when your mouse is not over it. So that's pretty nice to have. You can change things on the comments. I've enabled the country flag. Uh, I think I've just gone off it now, but that's fine. You, you saw earlier it, show, it showed the flag there too. And there's a few other options too. So that's very cool to have. It's YouTube Center. So once you've done installing this, feel free to stay at userscripts.org and try and find some more things for other websites that you view online. Facebook, Twitter, because there's a lot of really good stuff on this website that you can find that can increase your productivity while you're online on those websites. So that's about it really. This is YouTube Center and I'll see you guys in the next video.